everyone and thank you for joining me for the second video in our Business Survival with Analytics series. I'm Tracy Smith, the President of Numerical Insights, and today we'll discuss another business challenge and how you can use data to gain insights into that challenge. You can watch our video series in order or just pick the topics that interest you the most. Many of the challenges associated with running a business are related to sources of variability. Variability just means that things change over time. Today, I would like to teach you about several sources of variability within your business and how those changes create additional challenges that you need to address. I will also show you how you can look at your data to get a better idea of how these changes are impacting your business. The most obvious source of variability is related to customer demand. Every business is going to experience increases and decreases in the demand for its products or services. In addition to changing demand, Companies that produce products will also experience variability in supplier delivery times, overall delivery times to customers, and possibly variation in the quality of its products. In this video, I'll focus on the variability related to customer demand, since this is the most frequent variability challenge for businesses. I'll go a little deeper into some of the other sources of variability in future videos. Let's take a look at a hypothetical business. What I'm showing on the screen is the total sales for this company every month for several years. If we take a look at the overall trend of sales for this company, it looks fairly flat. If we were the business owner trying to figure out what the future sales of this company might be, we would likely anticipate that the overall sales would remain flat going into the future if the business continued as it did in the past. It looks like a pretty easy forecast to make. However, if we look a little deeper into the total sales data and look at the individual products that make up that total, we quickly see that a flat forecast at the product level doesn't match what's going on in our business. What you're seeing on the screen is actually 18 different products where each color on the screen represents the demand over time for each of those products. At the overall level, we saw that our total sales are flat and constant, but each of these products has its own life cycle and customer demand at the product level is a very different story. Keep listening and I'll describe the challenges that creates for your business. To make the life cycle of a product easier to see, I've now filtered my data to show you only product number 10. As you introduce new products to the market, the initial demand will typically start off low, ramp up slowly, reach a peak at some point in time, and then start to fall off as the product becomes less popular or becomes obsolete. There are obviously many exceptions to the shape of this curve, and this is why it's very important to look at your data frequently to understand your own product demand behavior. Companies such as those that sell smartphones with hugely popular products do not have slow ramp up in demand after they launch a new product. These companies see a huge amount of demand up front. They also have a deep understanding of the life cycle of their new products and they plan their manufacturing inventory and distribution accordingly. So why is it important to understand the data for each of your products individually? If you watched the first video in this series describing the cash flow gap, you understand the importance of closely watching the left hand side of this chart. Rapidly increasing demand will cause you to buy or produce more inventory to meet demand and this creates a potential cash flow problem. There is a second challenge created after you reach the peak of this life cycle. It is difficult to determine when customer demand has reached its maximum and when the demand will start to go down. When the demand starts to go down, the risk to the business is that you may end up stuck with inventory on your shelf where you can't find enough customers to sell through all of the remaining inventory. In that case, you have cash flow locked up in that inventory that you cannot access. In some cases, inventory that can't be sold may end up being scrapped or discarded. That's lost cash and a situation everyone prefers to avoid. But even the best of companies find themselves in that situation occasionally. I hope this video has helped to convey the strong value there is in looking deeper into your product sales data as it can help you better manage sales and inventory expectations. Analyzing your business data at a deeper level has become a must-have skill if you want to compete in today's business environment. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to press the like button and subscribe to our channel to receive notification of future videos.